Hi, this is Pastor Rob from Back Porch Wisdom. As you can tell, I'm out on my porch again. And so we're, uh, I'll tell you a little story. We're talking about uh, the receiving of the Holy Spirit and uh, the overwhelming profitability that there is in receiving the Spirit. You know, when you get born again or born from above or born of God, uh, through Jesus Christ, you, you find out that the Holy Spirit comes within you. In uh, the book of John, I, I believe it's the uh, 14th, 4th chapter, the uh, 24th or 25th verse, it says, those that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And about 42 years, well, uh, sometime in uh, 1981, we started going back to church and and we were going to a particular church, and I found uh, this man, this pastor said one time, he said he'd rather have men judge him than God. And it wasn't long before I found out that that was not a good proposition. And uh, we started going to some Bible studies. A lady named Barbara Compton was holding some Bible studies in Demopolis, Alabama, uh, where we were living. And... Uh, I ended up getting born again August the 17th, uh, 1981, and uh, then I, I uh, in February uh, 23rd, 1982, I got baptized in the Holy Ghost, and uh, after a series, we would go to uh, satellite seminars they were having, and, uh, and we were hearing different Pentecostal preachers or Word of Faith preachers that that we're Pentecostal, uh, talking about the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. And we came to uh, realize that we were in the wrong church because they were not going to preach that truth. They're good people. You know, when you get born again, you've got the character of God. You got lo you, you've got love spread abroad in your heart. You've got joy, peace, long-suffering, uh, gentleness, goodness, uh, uh, faith, meekness, and uh, self-control. That's character. We're not talking about people's character. We're talking about uh, being empowered by Jesus through the Holy Ghost and doing signs and wonders, doing the works of Jesus, uh, because they're a dinner bell to the gospel. And so uh, we, we left that church. We helped start a church that I ended up pastoring. Uh, that was in uh, 19, April 1983, I believe. And, uh, and so uh, we ended up pastoring that church starting in July of uh, 1999. And so we had gone to uh, Rama Bible Training College in uh, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, which I re recommend people going to. And, uh, and so we got trained to, to be ministers. And uh, really, I thought I was gonna be a pastor uh, because of, I was leading people to Jesus and getting them baptized in the Holy Ghost and getting people healed. Uh, uh, and so really what convinced me even to become a Christian was that my wife, I was outside one night. I worked for R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company, and I was outside one night, and I was uh, cleaning up my van. My boss was supposed to be coming uh, the next day or so, and so I'm out washing my van, and then I'm in my travel file where I have papers that I've got to get in order, and then I, I've got uh, a different product. I've got, I just got to clean up my van and make it look presentable, even more so than it was. I pretty much kept it like that. But, uh, and so uh, my little boy, who is now the pastor of the church I pastored for 24 years, called Cornerstone Church, Linden, uh, he was like three and a half, maybe. And so he comes outside and he said, Daddy, Mama needs you. And I said, well, tell her I'll be in there in a minute. And he said, no, Daddy, Doc, Mama needs you right now. And so I went in and she's in excruciating pain. And, uh, and so I, I uh, um, tried to get her to go to the doctor she wouldn't go to the doctor and I found out later that she had prayed the Lord uh, told her to pray like Isaiah uh, 43 verse 25 and said 26 he said he said it says let us let let us uh, uh, agree together that you might be justified 
And so he told her to pray this like this. He said, he said, pray, Father, uh, I, I have not fulfilled my purpose. I have a husband that needs me. I have a son that needs me. Uh, just a number of things like that. And so then Tuesday, I get up and I, she says, go to work. So I went to work. So she went to the doc. She said, I'm going to the doctor today. So she went with the doctor and the, uh, the nurse practitioner there, she passed out and threw up in the waiting room. And the nurse practitioner said she was anemic. Well, yeah, she's bleeding internally. She had rupture, had a tubal pregnancy rupture. And, uh, and she's bleeding internally. She'd been bleeding internally uh, for 12 hours or more at that time. So uh, he gives her a pain shot and sends her home. Well, uh, Wednesday I get up. She looks pretty flush. She looks really pretty white. And she says, no, I'm good. Just go to the, go to, go on to work. So I went to work. And the good thing about working for the company I worked for is they, they uh, had an, my itinerary. In other words, they knew place by place in order where I was going to go every day. And so they caught up with me at the Piggly Wiggly in Greensboro, Alabama and told me I needed to get to the hospital. So I got in the van. And man, I mean, I, I made a beeline to, to, uh, to there. And so, uh, backing up is uh, a lady named Sarah Wendell called her, who's named now Sarah Peppenhorse, called her and said, Rose, I, the Lord has said that there's something wrong with you that I, I, and she said, yeah, I'm dying. And so she called Ellen Dickerson across the street and Ellen comes over and Ellen says she's going to get somebody to chop the door down. So Rose crawls to the front door, op unlocks the front door. Then uh, uh, Butch and Mandy, uh, who weren't married, they were teenagers. They're now a barger. That's his last name. And so he comes, and they call the, the, the nurse at the OBGYN in, in Meridian. And the nurse says, well, what you've told me is she's had a tubal pregnancy interrupted. Well, that's like 42 hours or better. And so they're going to take her and Rose did not die. They took her around the corner of the ER and the only man that could do an operation in the hospital uh, in, the, in Marengo County that we knew of was standing there in the ER. And he takes her into the OR and I get there later and they let me in the OR in, a, in my suit and tie with no uh, no covering, no head covering, no shoe covering, no nothing, and I've never done that since then. And he's standing over, and he's got a bag of blood, and man, he's giving it this. And uh, and I found out later that she had peritonitis, and that uh, that her kidneys had started shutting down. She's dying, and he thinks she's going to die, and that's why she let me in there. And so. Uh, End results is we've been married 49 years, and that convinced me that was my dinner bell to the gospel. It convinced me that Jesus was who he was God in the flesh and raised from the dead, and it was necessary that you receive the Holy Ghost. I mean, really. And so, uh, she looked great the next day, she looked they had to give her a c-section that's when it was up and down and she could she had had a c-section with our first child trip and she couldn't even hardly get up well the next day she calls me and she wants her hot rollers she's uh she's up with her legs crossed indian style leaning up against the back of the bed i'm gonna tell you something god is a miracle working god he sent jesus to uh appropriate signs wonders and miracles by the Holy Ghost and if you don't receive him it's because you're ignorant or you're obstinate or something I mean how, I, I don't know what else to say to convince you and so uh, but we got to stop it's nearly time so if you've never received Jesus into your heart or you're you're backsliding your way from him, you need to pray this prayer say it through me Heavenly Father, I do believe that Jesus is the Christ and that you raised him from the dead to cause me to become the next born again from the dead. And so I receive him into my heart and I commit myself to live uh, for you the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, check me out on uh, uh, Facebook at Robert Wynn 
and on YouTube at Robert Wynn and Rob Wynn. God bless you and have a great day.